The world of electric vehicle maintenance and repair is a far cry from traditional combustion engine vehicles. We're dealing with high voltage systems here, and these require specialized equipment to keep yourself safe. So don't consider what I'm about to say as recommendations, consider them necessary. When we talk about the risks associated with EVs, the elephant in the room is undoubtedly the high voltage system. EVs can have voltages ranging from 400 volts to 800 volts or higher, and if not dealt with in the correct way, the primary risk is an electric shock which can cause cardiac arrest or severe burns. One of the first steps to staying safe is establishing a clear and effective barrier zone. This is simply a designated area of at least three feet around the entire vehicle that serves as a visual and physical reminder of the potential dangers. Only trained personnel with appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE, should be allowed within this zone. Now, PPE for EV maintenance isn't just the usual safety glasses and work gloves. The high voltage systems in EVs require specialized PPE to ensure your safety. Start with insulated gloves. These are perhaps the most crucial piece of PPE. Use class zero gloves rated for up to 1000 volts, which are tested before each use. You'll also want a face shield to protect against potential arc flashes and insulated tools. They're hand tools, but insulated to prevent accidental shock. In addition to PPE, there are some specialized tools to invest in as well, essential for any EV technician's toolkit. These include a voltage detector, which is a non-contact tool that allows you to detect the presence of voltage without direct contact with the system, and an insulation tester, which is used to verify the integrity of insulation in high voltage components. There's also a high voltage multimeter. Unlike standard multimeters, these are designed to safely measure the high voltages present in EVs. Now let's talk fire, because it can happen. Electrical fires require specific types of fire extinguishers. Specifically, you want to have class C fire extinguishers readily available. These are specifically designed for electrical fires and use a non-conductive extinguishing agent. You never want to use water-based extinguishers on electrical fires since water can conduct electricity and potentially make the situation even more dangerous. Another good product to keep on hand are fire blankets. These can be used to smother small fires or as a protective barrier. In the event of a battery fire, which are known for being particularly challenging to extinguish, a fire blanket is a great way to help contain the fire. One of the most important safety tools is the dead man hook. A dead man hook is a non-conductive pole with a hook on the end typically made of fiberglass or another insulating material. Its primary purpose is to safely remove a person who has encountered a live electrical system. If a technician becomes incapacitated while working on a high voltage system, the dead man hook allows another person to pull them away without risking their own safety. The transition to electric vehicles represents a significant shift in the automotive industry, and with it comes new challenges and responsibilities. As EV technicians, you are at the forefront of this change, and it's up to you to set the standard in your shop for safe maintenance and repair practices.